Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where as always we're going to be diving into the Bitcoin charts together in a very short, sweet, precise and professional video for you. I'm going to let you get into my mindset as a consistently profitable trader, what I'm doing every day with this routine, coming in here, marking out my levels, you know, under that realm of technical analysis, getting myself ready for the next trade in a level to level environment. Okay, so I'm going to start off right where we left off the last video where we're obviously range bound within this type of range, <laughs> really simply. Uh, we obviously had that local resistance there around 21,800, 21,900, and local support was at the low of the range around 20,700 to 20,600. Well, over the course of that day, after that video had ended, we had another move to the upside. And I told you in that video why I placed my stop loss where I placed it. And obviously I told you I was in a short position with my stop loss above this high, okay? With above that high. And very, this is how we have to read the context, under, understand the patterns that we're trading, understand the context of the market and place stop losses where the trade is invalidated. And we can see that that was a very nice call indeed because we ended up coming up towards 2 p.m. on the 26th. And you can see here how we, did not take that high. I'll zoom in here very closely for you. We did not take the high. The stop loss remained intact and we moved down lower, okay, to the low of that range, which in the end was really simply lost, back tested the support as resistance, and we saw another subsequent drop to the downside. Okay, so real simply, let me lay that out for you once more. Original short from the top of the range off of that eagle session. Move down, subsequent move back up, not taking out the stop loss. Real simply remaining range bound from lows to highs, from lows to highs. This time coming to the low of the range and losing it. Back testing the old range low support now as resistance and another subsequent move to the downside. So not that difficult when we remove the emotions, when we remove, you know, our different thoughts and biases. At the end of the day, we had a very nice range. The range is tradable until it breaks. That range broke to the back downside. We back tested the support as resistance and we saw another move down. So now when we're trading this in a level to level environment, more in a local viewpoint, we know that we bounced off of 19,700 POC support, which for me was a very important support. I'm not going to underestimate this. Very nice support level. Okay, we have bounced off of that locally. So now above us, I'm aware of my next level and below us, I'll be aware of my next level. Well, really simply what I'm coming down in here on a very low term time frame, I, I know why we bounced here. This was our NPOC zone on the daily, the weekly, the monthly, okay? And now I know it's the exact reason why we put in this high here locally. Take the Fibonacci from that last high down to the low that was made and we came up into the CC. Yeah, pretty simple stuff. This is what we're doing every single day. So likewise, we can be looking at this reverse CC now. We know if we come down to this, is our local support. If we lose that, we have the daily level below us. We have this still CC above us, which has now been tested one, two, potentially a third time. If we break that, we're looking up to the NPC around $20,000. So you can see how we're coming in here, even on a very low term time frame, such as the five minute chart, we can even start to be looking at this is now our local range, yeah? So our local range is between the high that we put in here at the CC down to this low, which we had these series of lows, resistance flipping into support, and this is the CC. And this is very technical when you think about it, okay? Then within here, we can even start to add on something else, which is our local triangle forming, okay? And we'll put on the lower trend line, okay? So we can see we have a triangle constricting price action. We break the high of this triangle, we move back up to the top of the range, break that, we look towards the NPOC. Of course, we break that, we look towards the next level above us. Real simply, if we break down to the low of this triangle, we can look to the low of this range and then to the CC. And if we break that CC, well, we could look down towards the low once more. If we lose that, we look towards the daily. Honestly, um, people are going to want to be looking for the massive moves. People are going to be wanting to look for the massive breakouts. But at the end of the day, you do not need these massive moves. You don't need these massive breakouts. All you need is a local range, 
the next levels you're looking to trade and recognize this is my next level. If this level breaks, I look towards the next level. This is my next level of support. If that level breaks, I look towards my next level of support. We do not need to be looking for massive moves. Massive moves will come naturally on their own. We do not need to be expecting massive moves all the time. All we need to know is the next level that we're looking to trade. When that level is hit, what I would do is come over and look at the order flow. So we would come over here on a lower term time frame and look at the order flow, make an informed decision and take that trade. Okay, it's as, it's, it's as simple as that really. Um, so yeah, this was a very quick video that I wanted to give you. If you want the more in-depth analysis, I went over over, over an hour long live stream last night for the champions. I explained why I'm in short trades and bearish on Bitcoin with my next major targets. So myself and the CC pool team fully prepared for these weeks ahead. So if you want to see the real in-depth high-term time frame included analysis, the next major targets that I have on that, then that is within the Champions live stream, which you can watch now over on the website. Obviously, it is this one here. We've already had then another live stream this morning, but this is the one if you're interested in watching it. Uh, yeah, you can watch that over from the portal and live stream 168 on the Champions. That's going over the higher term time frame major targets here. Um, well, you can see this right here together. We have just then broken out of this triangle and we can see how we've come up to the high of that high of that channel. So real simply what we would do is now say this is still our channel. OK, and now what I would do is come over and look at the order flow. What do we have going on here on a lower term time frame? So we will look at this together. Um, very big uh, decrease in open interests. So open interest greatly decreasing. I'll come back onto the 30 minute time frame. Okay, we do. La, 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 la. We have no no divergences at the moment. This is not a divergence from our last high. So we basically have just seen open interest decrease, shorts getting stopped out, and essentially remaining in a range bound environment here. I do sometimes like to check these highs. So all the highs were not taken on all exchanges. They were taken on Bybit here, but not every other exchange, which leaves us for the possibility of another push up here, to be fair. But for me, this is so th this for me would not be a short position right now because there is no trap longs into the high. Just as I also was looking, I would not have shorted that triangle because I don't know if you took notice, but there was there was no trap longs into that high All decreases on open interest. This isn't really an executable short trade for me. OK, we can be aware of these levels, but for me, I would look for another push to the upside here locally, see the high taken across all exchanges and really preferably into the NPO keys, NPO key, NPOC zone. This is slightly before and just after the uh, $20,000 zone. So my opinion would be, hey, you saw it there. We had the top of the triangle. There was really no short trade there. We now have the Next level, which is the top of this range, which for me is not an actionable short position. So if I have no actionable short position, and that's based off of the order flow reading here, for me, this order flow is not bearish. I would expect another high to be made, and that would be towards this NPOC. And you can see here how I have read that correctly, and we have already made a new high above that high that I just told you. So that's the power of reading order flow. You saw it live in the time. I did call that correctly. And now we have taken the high on all exchanges. We can continue to read this and make informed decisions. If you want to learn about this, you can see it live in the time what I'm saying is correct. <laughs> um, you know, you can learn all of this with me. This is everything that we teach here over at Chart Champions. You got all of the material you could ever need. You got the daily updates. <laughs> you got live streams galore, content galore. We're here to help you. We're a team. If you want to see more, check the website. For me, this is the local update, lower term time frame reading the order flow, and I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed it. I actually do want to get back and trade this. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. If you want to see more updates from me, chartchampions.com or over on our website. Thank you ever so much. And I'll end with the disclaimer, as always, let's just find that disclaimer of no financial advice in this video. This is just an entertainment, educational live stream only. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. If you want to see more, come over onto the website. Thank you and have a good day. Goodbye. Cheers.